गुड इवनिंग ऑल टुडे आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वोड ऑन क्रिटिकल एप्रिशिएशन फ्रॉम द पोइम वोड ऑन अग्रेशियन सो आई स्टार्ट माय वीडियो इंट्रोडक्शन द पोइम वोड ऑन अग्रेशियन अर्न इज वन ऑफ द फाइनेस्ट वोड इन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर इट इज द रिप्रेजेंटेटिव पोइम डेट रिफ्लेक्ट्स ऑल द पोइटिक क्वालिटीज ऑफ कीट एज अ राइटर ऑफ ओड द पोइम ओड ऑन अग्रेशियन ऑन इज कम्पोज इज कम इज पब्लिश इन एटीन ट्वेंटी दिस पोइम मेनली टेल्स अबाउट ग्रीक आर्ट कल्चर लाइफ फिलासफी ग्रीक माइथोलॉजी इट इस सेकेंड पॉइंट इज डेवलपमेंट ऑफ थाट द ओड कंसिस्ट ऑफ ओनली फाइव स्टेंजर्स एंड इच स्टेंजर कंटेन टेन लाइन्स इन दिस ओड द पोइट रेफर्स टू अग्रेशियन अर्न ऑन बिच टू पिक्चर्स आर इनग्रेवड द पोइट बिच इज टू नो what is a better mean of expression whether painting or poetry the third point is philosophy of beauty it is a very important point for your exam so you will write this definitely in your answer sheet so start this uh, point uh, in the great ode keep present an ideal philosophy based on truth the un the unrepresented unrepresented the un has a grecian shape it attracts the poet very much it presents to lively picture engraved on it uh, these picture represents greek shape and in this uh, the poet says beauty is truth is beauty and beauty is truth this is all the guest of the whole philosophy there is nothing beyond it to know if anything is devoid of truth the beauty is false if the beauty is not for human welfare then what kind of need to then the beauty will not be a beautiful or truth third point is strong emotion it is very important point keto put on a grecian urn is highly emotional poem the poet appreciate the strong emotion of the piper the lover the lady the beloved the piper is never tired and the lover never disappointed and the lady never and the lady never defeated the handsome young man will never be old he will remain young and handsome the piper song will always be fresh the tree will never lose its leaves everything thing regard engraved on the urn will always remain the same the lover will never able to kiss his beloved the point is hellenism the word hellenism is derived from the greek word hellas in fact ancient greek called their country hellas roman took interest in it they called it grecia so grecia is the name given by hellas given by roman to hellas in fact in general sense interest in greek literature art philosophy culture life mythology etc are called hellenism keats hellenism is based on his interest in all all these and their influence on his poetry now you can uh, write this on your notebook medalism the life in middle is was just as the picture engraved on the urn a passionate lover could kiss a lady against her wish there was a atmosphere of singing and playing musical instruments sacrifice of 
innocent creature was regarded very holy at that time. Now the last point of this critical appreciation of the poem form and structure. It is a very important point and this point shows that you have read, you have gone the poem deeply and examiner, examiner will give you a full mark by seeing this point in your answer in your answer notebook so let us start the point the poem ode on aggression earn the poem ode on aggression earn was written in 1819 and it was published in the collection of lyrical ballad and it was published in 1820 the poem contained five stanzas of 10 lines alliteration figure of speech is used in this poem beginning with the rhyming scheme a b a b and ending with the miltonic zest first and fifth stanza c d d c e second stanza contain the rhyming scheme c d e c d and third and fourth stanza contain the rhyming scheme c d e c d e